hi everyone welcome back to a new tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to create this class morphism op in after Effects. so without any further ado let's get started okay guys i'm start with a new comb and let's go with this class morphism op and i will go with a full hd resolution 20 frames per second let's go with a duration with 10 seconds i will set the background color black let's hit ok now let's add a text go here and right click new and text i will call this motion let's press ctrl alt home on the keyboard and it will reset anchor point and i will use the line to center it now select this and search for gradient ramp effect let's go effect control and i will drag this slider towards the center like this so it will have some contrast now let's add a new adjustment layer and i will call this class let's search for transform effect we can add a mask so let's select this class and go toolbar and select the ellipse tool i will draw a mask like this okay now that's perfect now select this glass layer again and press ctrl or home on the keyboard it will reset the anchor point now search for stroke effect and let's bring the stroke brush size to maybe around 10 so you should have a stroke like this if you don't see any stroke you can set this to mask one okay it should work now let's close this up and now search for fast box blur effect so let's search fast box blur i will increase the blur radius to around 20 or maybe 50 and let's keep the iteration to three okay now search for four color gradient effect and let's drag these sliders to around center like this so we have a nice looking colors like this okay you guys can go with any color you want i recommend you guys to play with around different colors now let's search for chromatic aberration this is a free plugin from uh, plugin everything i will put the link in the description you guys can download it this will add a bit of realism to the glass effect we can increase the position it will as you can see it will add a uh, nice looking colors let's go with different color let me show you the difference as you can see it's pretty cool and yeah this is our effect stack for the tutorial let's close this up now press p it will bring position keyframe and we can animate this or you can add a wiggle expression press alt and click on this stopwatch icon and type this expression As you can see now we have nice animation you can also duplicate and change the position you can also give different color for the different layers yeah that's basically the effect i want to show you guys and i hope you learned something new for this tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section also thank you so much for the patreon supporters and yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial have a great day